show and uh hopefully you enjoy uh what we got in store for you today absolutely next next up you got um jazzy what's up jazzy hi everyone um hope you guys enjoy the show um i think it's gonna be great all right and next up is true diva Hello, everyone, and welcome to True Crime Sunday, and I hope y'all like the show. All right, so I want to do a couple of shout-outs, right? Um, Ronster, what's up, Ronster? All right. Hello, Ronster. Yeah, we're just going to give a couple of shout-outs. We got, we got Jay Mac. Mm -hmm. Hold on a minute, y'all. Um, welcome, Jay okay, um, Let me move down, move down. One second, this thing is moving, so give me a second. All right. Leroy, what's up, Leroy? What's up, Leroy? Um, let's see what else we got in here. Hey, All Lute. Right. Oh, Shrink and Sharon. What's up, Shrink and Sharon? All right. Um, Octavia. Yeah, I'm about to get to her now. I'm just going down the line. Octavia. Okay. What's up, Octavia? Um, Giorgio, what's up, Giorgio? All right, I'm just going down the line. We got Cam B, what's up, Cam B? Um, all right, did I did I miss anybody? Bama fan, what's next up, Bama level, fan? Yep. yep, I see next level. What's up, next level? Appreciate everybody coming by. Today is True Crime Sunday, and um, the ladies have something great in store for you. But before we start, right, um, today, um, where we, where we, where I live at, right, um, me and, uh, some of my friends got together and they did a ride out for George Floyd. So I want to take a moment of silence to show our respects to George Floyd, you know, before we begin. All right. So a moment of silence. All right, I'm not gonna let everybody, you know, be silenced for, you know, we, I had to do that because, um, you know, he lost his life. I know everybody know about it. And I just wanna show my respects to George and his family. You know, um, we did a, a ride out today. Unfortunately, I couldn't ride out because I had to do the show today. But I did put up a video today. And what I want everybody to do, you know, I want y'all to do for me to go check the video out right and um i want y'all to show y'all respects to him on that video you know you can say whatever you want but you know i appreciate it. everybody go to that video and, and show their respects in whatever way you know um thank you all right so um yeah we're gonna have a great show for y'all today um yeah, a lot of people up in here. We appreciate the support from everybody. All right. So I don't know what the topic is. You know, um, like I said, I like to be in suspense. So I don't know what the family got in store for us today. So um, I'm going to turn it over to them. And um, I hope y'all enjoy the show today. All right. So y'all can get ahead. All right. So the show today is about... Leonard Lake and Charles Ning, um, they were serial killers. These men were horrible, horrible, horrible people. They enslaved women. Yes. They killed families. I don't even want to talk about the children that they took their lives. Yeah. These men built a bunker where they took women in that bunker and did everything you can imagine. I don't want to say exactly what they did. Yeah, you don't have to be graphic, but you, right. know, you can just tell the people, you everything know. Everything that you could imagine, this is what these men did to these women. Um, the two women that I know of, they were speaking on, um, they had children and they, you know, made them think that they were going to hurt the children. So they did whatever they wanted 
to do to them women. He also had rules about what, how he wanted them women to react. And Brooklyn, if you can go, if you yeah, I'm chance, trying. To, what was the name of it again? The um, okay, okay. Right. If you could bring up some of the pictures. Right. Y'all see the pictures? Right. Okay, okay. Let me um just give me a second. Right. Let me get this fixed up. One minute. One minute. One minute. All right. Just bear yeah. with me for a second. All yeah. Right. The the rules were 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 pretty crazy, but. Uh, that's pretty typical coming from uh, the type of serial killers that these guys were. They had six rules that uh, that was posted uh, inside uh, each room inside the bunker for the women to, uh, uh, you know, to obey. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. And it, it was it was horrible. Dre, yeah. Um, uh, did you get a chance to check out the rules that um, he had? I did. I can I can read them off to you. First rule okay. was I must always be ready to service my master. Uh, uh, second rule was I must never speak unless spoken to. And uh, the third rule was I must never show my disrespect either verbally or silently. The fourth rule was I must be um, obedient completely in in all things and that's including all the uh, uh, pornography videos that was taken fifth rule was uh i must be uh quiet when locked in my cell and the sixth rule was i must uh remember and obey any additional rules that was uh given to me on a day-to-day -day basis those were the six rules that they had posted in each bunker uh of of the uh uh Cell okay. that uh, that they that Leonard Lake had built uh, for these women uh, to uh, actually live in at the time. Yes, mm -hmm. uh, True Diva, you want to elaborate on it? Okay, I'm gonna give you a little background on Mr. Lake. He was born in San Francisco, California. <clears throat> um, he started off as a child doing strange things. Um, his grandmother uh, suggested that he drew a picture of his sister nude. And he drew his sister and then he just, he started sexually assaulting her. Then he went into the army <clears throat> where he, he did two tours. He did two tours of Vietnam. And then he came back and he was diagnosed with paranoid schizophrenia. Mm -hmm. But he met his he met the person that was with him, Nang, also while they were in the service. But he was honorably discharged. Joyce. Yes. So um, Nang went to after he came out of jail because Nang had got arrested because you know he was a klepto. He was a kleptomaniac. He was you know out there stealing. And he was a kleptomaniac, but once he came out of jail, mm -hmm. he went to find uh, Leonard. But yeah. when he got to Leonard, Leonard was thinking about murdering him, guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. right. Okay. He was thinking about murdering him, but then he found out that he liked the same kind of sickness that he liked. And they wound up, started um, killing people and right. burying their bodies um, on by the cabin. But most of the bodies that they uh, buried, they burnt those bodies. Right. Yeah, right. because Leonard had a fixation with chemicals. And he right. burnt, that's why it was called the barnyard uh, murders, because he poured uh, chemicals on them where it ate up all their flesh. And the only thing that was left and remains were bones. And that's they kept wow. journals of everything that they did. That's right, crazy. right. That's crazy. He 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 soaked them in aladine and then he douched them down with acid before he actually burnt uh, burnt all his victims. Uh, like uh, True said uh, in the beginning, uh, to give a little on Leonard's past, uh, you know he was from a dysfunctional family where his parents were uh, divorced. Yeah. 
And uh, like True said, uh, after the parents' divorce, uh, he went and spent time with uh, his grandmother. Uh, him and his, um, it was two boys and four girls. Uh, he had, you know, it was six siblings in all. Yeah. And uh, what ended up happening was he was always fascinated with uh, taking, uh, you know, uh, pornography uh, uh, or nude photographs. So, yeah. um, uh, ironically, uh, his grandmother that he went to live with at that time uh, should have stepped in and did something, but she kept encouraging him to uh, take uh, nude photographs of his sisters. And also, uh, you know, at a teenage, uh, when they were teenagers, this man also uh, sold his sisters, uh, meaning right. uh, prostituted his sisters. Yeah. yeah. Right. So, and he was having sex with them. Yep. Right. So, and, and, you know, the grandmother should have stepped in, but the grandmother encouraged uh, Leonard to keep doing what he had, you know, what he was doing. So he was disturbed as a little kid and no one ever um, came to his rescue. Uh, that's that's what uh, Leonard uh past was and, and you know charles was uh kind of totally the opposite you know born in hong kong to a wealthy yeah. uh executive yeah. mother and father that's them here yeah that's, that's yes, them. Yes. yeah 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 but that's his pro- yeah but his problem was uh his dad abused him so he suffered from uh physical and mental abuse from uh yeah. his dad and that's wow. what led him uh, down his uh, devious uh, path uh, to that's destruction. Crazy. Yep, doing all of this. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. I see one of them got a black eye right here. Right. So that's him. <laughs> that's him. They're about to beat him up in jail. Man. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. You don't well, see his eye? Look at yeah, his I eye, see man. it. All right. You got to shine him, man. Yeah. Yeah, you got to shine him. Yeah. Right, but he uh now the main reason, yeah, the main reason why he actually built that bunker was because he thought that they was gonna drop bombs on the bombs and he built this that a bunker, bunker here. To, I guess this a bunker here. Yes, to be safe. Mm-hmm. And then it turned out to be a place that in enslaved um enslaved women and did everything that you could imagine to All them. Right. Yeah. Right. 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 Yeah, he was uh he was he you know he was uh discharged uh dishonorably from uh the military uh because of his uh uh you know mental disorder. Uh Leonard yes, Lake was win. right. So um you know when these two guys actually started uh committing their crimes uh before he had even met Charles uh Leonard had also murdered uh, one, you know, his only brother. Yes. It happened. So yes. he wow. was, yeah, he was, he, the Vietnam had really did a number on him. And, uh, yeah. uh, he was committing crimes before he had even met Charles. And you got to look at the time frame that this was, this was in the early sixties, uh, right here where I'm at in, in San Francisco, actually the County where he was committing all the murders is Calaveras County. Uh, yes. That, that's a pretty woody area. That's only, uh, hate to say it, but that's only about an hour and a half from where I'm at right now in Northern California. Wow. And, um, okay. that's a pretty woody area. And it's, uh, and it's also an isolated area up there. The population is, is, uh, you know, right now, I believe it's like 5,000, uh, mm. some odd people in Ukiah right now in Calaveras County. So that was the perfect spot to, uh, actually take the bodies and burn them because nobody would never know. I mean, you know, they totally isolated out there. Wow. That's right. crazy. So down mm-hmm. there at the bottom Brooklyn, th- I think these are some of the people that he murdered. You see these yeah. people here yeah. down at the bottom. Yeah. Right. 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 Yeah. He murdered his, he, he murdered his best man. He sure did. And one, which was his friend. Wow. Mm-hmm. So they murdered all of these people here. Right. And, they, wow. and they're yeah. saying it's, it's 12 to 25. So, um, right. you know, they couldn't really um, find a lot of the bodies. But I guess these are the ones that they were able to identify. Right. Right. Because mm-hmm. uh, Nan got charged, I think, 
I believe it was 11 out right. of the 25 murders. Yes. Right. 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 So, but, uh, uh, but the other one took the easy way out when he was arrested. He took right. a cyanide pill. Yes, he did. He died four, days, four days later. Yes, he did. Yeah. Yes, he did. So this is the mother right here? No, this is uh, one of the gentlemen that uh, got no, right missing. Here. The mother. This, right here, this, no? No, this, no. Is, this is the sister. No. The sister? This is the sister of one of the gentlemen that got uh, yeah. murdered by, by uh, yeah. Leonard. Okay. Because he had he had uh, put up a car for sale, right. and Leonard, um, you know, the went for the ad. ad. Yeah. Right, he answered the ad, and they never saw him again. But the reason why these guys got caught because when she went to the police station and told them that her brother was missing, they told her that they couldn't look for nobody over the age of six, but they right. could put out a bolo for the car. Right. So she constantly, constantly kept. You know, saying something about, you know, her brother's car, her brother's car. And eventually that's how they got caught because they got caught with the brother's car. Wow. Right. Yeah. Remember, they were using the brother's identity. The people yes. that they was killing, they was used their identification also. Exactly. Yeah. And like you said, the only way he got caught, uh, Leonard, is because uh, they were at a Home Depot uh, here in the Bay Area and they were shoplifting. They shoplifted a vice. And um, uh, Charles Neen had got away, but uh, Leonard had came out when the police officers was there because they were already looking at the car that they had uh, uh, had driven up in. And uh, Leonard, uh, you know, when they when they searched the back of the trunk, they found a pistol with a silencer uh, in it, and they found the vice. But uh, Leonard had told the police that uh, his friend Charles Neen is the one who uh, actually stole the vice. So they wanted to take him down to the police station and question him. And ironically, this guy had uh, cyanide pills on him. So he killed himself yeah. right there uh, in the interrogation room. Yes, yeah. he did. Let me ask you something. What is this thing with the pictures here? Right. This, which one? Right. This right, is with the, the pictures. pictures where the guy, Charles, right. drew. He was drawing, drawing, uh, drawing things that was being done. Down in that bunker. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. Wow. So he was filming it and everything. Oh, they were filming it yeah. and everything. Yes. They found <laughs> videotapes of the things that they were doing to those women was horrifying. Wow. Horrifying. He, wow. he even was married for a short time and his wife participated. Oh, yeah. What? And they was cricket. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But she got immunity. I didn't I didn't get out, you know, she was able to get immunity, I guess, because she you know, went against the grain, but she yeah. knew what was going on because she participated in a lot of the sick things that he was doing. Right, right. That's correct. Yeah, she got immunity. She didn't actually get charged for any other murders, but she did get charged for, um, uh, you know, stealing uh, the Deb's car. The, the car that they was in at the time at the Home Depot, that was the Deb's car, and, and she was in on that. So she 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 got a theft charge and uh, got a year of probation, and that was it. She was never convicted of any other murders, you know? Right. Wow. But I she knew what was going on. Down. She knew what was going on because she was participating mm -hmm. in a lot of that stuff that uh, her husband was doing. Because the yeah. first wife that he married, she divorced him because once she found out he was, yeah. you know, he wasn't correct in the head. She got rid of him, and then he got and married this lady Cricket, and she she enjoyed the things that he was doing. That's right. crazy, man. That's These are sick yeah. people, man. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, they were sick. People are sick, man. For real. Yeah, they was very sick. So, um, you know, after Leonard had had killed himself, you know, Charles was still on the run, and he had fled uh, the United States and went to Canada at the time. Mm -hmm. So uh, during that time frame that they were looking for him, that was about a three year span before they actually caught up mm -hmm. with him. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Dre. Absolutely. Right. And it right. took them a whole lot of years before he even got uh, was put in jail, you know, because they put him to death. But right. he's still alive today. He is. Wow. So. Yeah, he's, wait he he's waiting to be executed. Yeah, yeah. he's wow. waiting to be executed. But 15 years later. Mm -hmm. You know, well, some people, I mean, you know, sometimes 
in certain states, they changed the law. It was like, yo, we have some people that sat on death row more than 20 years. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Crazy. Well, you That's know, crazy. The, before they actually convicted him, it, it was nine years before they actually convicted Charles yeah. because during that time frame, he was in Canada. He was in prison in Canada. And this brings up the pictures that he was drawing. The pictures, how they came across these pictures is the guy who was in jail with him, his cellmate, not necessarily a cellmate, but the guy who was in the next door cell, Charles was pretty much describing to him on a day-to-day -day basis how mm -hmm. he, uh, you know, how him and uh, Leonard uh, actually uh, captured and uh, killed these women. And that's how the police uh, came up with these pictures here. Um, but ironically, uh, you know, when they, once they caught Charles, uh, once he came back into the uh, United States and they caught him, uh, the guy he was showing the pictures to, uh, you, know, you know, he didn't accidentally die. He got killed in a car crash because he was going to be one of the main guys who was going to testify against uh, Charles uh, during his time, during it, you know, during his trial. But uh, like I say, things fell apart. And, you know, Charles actually read up um, and studied the, the law uh, when he was in prison in Canada. So, uh, you know, he he was able to keep, uh, you know, the prosecutors off his back for quite a long time. Uh, you yeah, know, a lot of the a lot of the stunts that he was pulling in the court, you know, it kept delaying his uh, his trial date, you know. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So he won't get so so he did that so he won't get executed. He he did. He 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 went through all of this uh so he wouldn't he get executed. But he didn't he didn't want to get convicted, but where he messed up is uh his defense attorney actually had him off. I don't think they would have convicted him of eleven murders. I don't think he would have got the death penalty. Uh but where he made a mistake is he wanted to get on the stand and testify. Uh, to try to prove himself innocent, and that's right. when, the, and that's when the prosecutors really ate him up. You know, he right. hung himself. You know, he did. Wow. He, he did. He actually did. Mm -hmm. He actually did. Um, and his lawyer really wasn't happy that he had to represent him. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. But that's true. But his lawyer, his lawyer, <laughs> his lawyer almost had him off. To be yeah. honest, sure enough. So. Yeah, yeah but it was. It was. It was. It was horrifying the things that they did to them women. It was horrible, horrible. Yeah. Um, there is a documentary that you guys can take a look at because a lot of that stuff is really graphic and we really don't want to show it. Yeah, that's why um, I didn't show too many pictures. Right. right. It's really yeah. graphic the things especially that they the, did to yeah. the women. Especially mm -hmm. the kids too. Right. Yeah. So I didn't want right. to show that, so yeah, I just right. let a few things pop up there. But it's a sad right. story, you know. Um, these are true crime. These are um, what the ladies bring for it every Sunday. You know, let y'all know that these are horrific crimes that's going on in our communities all around the world. You know, um, this is a sad, sad day. You know, um, it, it's it, to me, I don't, I don't get it, man. I don't get why people do these type of things, man. You know, I don't get it. But like I said, it always starts from, you know, when you little, when you, when you raise right, you do the right things. If you're not raised right, this is what happens. You know, absolutely, um, right? Yeah, absolutely. But the grandmother, she. She let a lot Grandma of this stuff started. go on. She didn't. She didn't do she anything started. about it. She she started it out. Yes, she did. She did start everything because she would turn a blind eye to the things that she saw him doing. Yeah, I ain't like that. When y'all said that, I was like, oh, mm -hmm. God. that's true. The now, grandmother. Know she daughter, was when y'all know my daughter drew, I wouldn't recommend she draw no no male naked. <laughs> <laughs> right, and she, it was okay yeah. for him to have his sisters. Um, and Jordan Meckett and the grandmother, you know, she she allowed that kind of stuff to happen in her home because, you know, once the parents uh, divorced, they went to stay with the grandma. So they figured they would get, you know, some kind of support, some kind of upbringing. But that grandmother, it's like she was OK with everything that he did. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's sad, bro. Yes, yeah, she was. All right. You yes, know, because she never opened her mouth with the. What, what he was doing to his sister. Right. Never said anything. 
She never said and it. And I believe she could have notified the police and, and, and made them a little aware. And also the person that he rented the house from that found out that he was making a phone call on his property. Right. He should have woke up too. Right. Yeah. But but come to find out, um, his wife, a uh, cricket, she her family had land. So that's why they, why they went wind up over there in that cabin because you know, they rented from the family, and that's when he started building that bunker. Mm-hmm. It shows um, where he was, right. you know, he but had that's after he he started doing that. The other one, because the owner didn't like that when he found out that he made that bunker. Yes. Right. right. So, um, he, you know, he had problems. He, You know, he wasn't right in the head, and um, that wife, she, she, come on, she was down with that. She was down with mm-hmm. it. She knew what that man was doing. Oh, yeah. She so was she in a lot of the videos. They did. Well, yeah, she, she was in a lot of the videos that he was doing. She should have went to jail, but she had, the reason why she didn't go to jail is because, um, you know, she had started talking to the police earlier. She yeah. had uh, cut a deal with the uh, prosecutors for immunity. If yeah. she told, uh, you know, a lot of the stuff that they did, you know, she got immunity mm-hmm. from all the murders. That's why she didn't actually get charged. So absolutely, yeah. And also, like absolutely. I said, they kept a record of what they did too. Yeah, yeah, they kept. A, they wrote they kept that. They, yeah, they found vi- they found videos and everything. They found videos of what um these men were doing to the women and all. That's and great. You know. Yes, that's sad. But then you guys, you got to remember, she tried to get uh the guy that um Carl got missing, and the sister was trying to find out what happened to her brother. Well. Yeah, Frank. I did. know that. Um, right. She, if it wasn't for her, I don't think they probably wouldn't even got caught. If it wasn't for her, yeah. you know, staying on the police because it was like, no, they can't look for an adult. Right. So she kept saying, "Where's my brother Carl?" That's the only reason why those guys got caught. Right. Other than that, they probably they would have still been out there killing people and enslaving women and taking them down in that bunker and doing whatever you could imagine to the women. I mean, right, right. if you if you read it, stuff that they did to them, you would be oh my goodness, yeah. horrible, just horrible. And uh, the woman to the left, the, the the lady to the left, down at the bottom, Brooklyn, right she was one. Yes, yeah, she was one that they killed, and her yeah. also. That the picture is so little though, but yeah, it's a small size, so. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Well, you know. So you- um, and these well, it was crazy because they took they went and they um. Took a whole uh somebody that lived in the next I think the next house to him they took the husband the wife and the child these people live uh close that they took right yep they're next door neighbors next door neighbors next door, next neighbor. door neighbors they went and you know, like I say they they murdered uh uh you know the father the mother and the child for the simple reason is yes. because uh they they were suspicious that they knew what was but, going on yeah yeah. Yeah, so they yeah, so they just took them and killed them too. Right. That's sad yeah. though. That's sad. It is. And right, it is. but it's crazy how you you know you lure your brother to your home and then you murder your brother. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and your best man, the best man at the wedding. That's great. Yep. Yes. That's true. The brother was asleep when he shot him. Yeah, yeah, he shot his brother and he was his brother was asleep. Wow. Mm-hmm. They didn't even see it coming. Mm-mm. Didn't even see it coming. Wow. Horrible, 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 horrible. But he kept that sign in his pocket. Because yeah. he said he'd rather die than to go to jail. So he kept yeah. that sign out in the lapel of his jacket. Yes. So he knew yep. he yes. knew this day was coming. He yes. knew that, that, that it was going to call come to an end. Yep. You know? So he was already prepared for it. He knew yes. it. He knew he it. Knew it. But so you know, as soon as he got caught, he took that sign out pill and he yep. died four days later. So he suffered. So that was yeah, but how did they, you know, if they caught him, how did, did he get a chance to take the sign out pill under the watch? He he, he he was he was he was slick he was he was slick about it. Yeah, because he did it right in front of. Him. Yeah, he you did it right in front of. Him. How the hell you? you maybe, they, maybe they knew it and they didn't care. Well, you got to remember when this happened. This was. You know, when they got caught in the early 80s, this was before all of that technology. They used to just put you in the back, put you in the back of the police car, and put handcuffs on you. And uh, mm-hmm. that was it, you know. Right. Uh, Absolutely. They didn't pay attention once they, yeah, put they you didn't, in the back. They huh? didn't pay attention. Yeah. So, But, you know, the, 
this story that you ladies came up with today, this is actually a good story because believe it, I didn't know anything about this story until you ladies uh, came up with it. And I was like, man, I, I, I won't stop in Ukiah again. Yeah, <laughs> very close to you. Very close to you, Drake. Very close. That, that yeah. might that might be a sundown town. I don't know. It could be, it but be. I won't stop there again. You it know, be. Yeah, it may actually be. I can't. Be. I can't wait till we do the um the sundown town part yeah. two. Yeah. Yeah, we are going to do that. We are yeah. going to do that. absolutely. But um, I thought it was a very good story, uh, yeah. too deep yeah. because you too deep yeah. to look into it, and I thought it was actually going to be yeah. a very good story. Yeah, it was um, very interesting. Very interesting. Yeah. As and always. As I, yeah, and as I stated earlier, there is a documentary that you guys can go and take a look at it. Yeah, yeah. absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. I see everybody out there showing us love, you know. Um, so um, if anybody out there, you know, um, we got a lot of mods out there, people that's doing stuff in the community, you know, you know, y'all know on this channel, everybody is welcome to promote. Um, their channel here so you know if y'all want y'all can go and put links into the group so um people can know um to come over to your channel i see cody man here you know cody man everybody can drop their links in here yeah what's up cody man yeah everybody can can promote here you know you're doing something let people know that you're doing something put your links in the group so um people can come check you out all right yeah, this is something else. This is something else, man. You know, yeah. um, yeah. Yeah, it, it was, is. It was, I mean, it's a very interesting story. And uh, like I said, I didn't know anything about it until uh, uh, Truth and Jazz brought it to the table, you know, because uh, literally um, at least once a year I go through Ukiah because Ukiah is on the way to uh, Reno, you know, here in oh. Northern California where I'm at. Reno's only three hours from me, so Ukiah, California, is considered northern Northern California. So, and okay. it's a lot of well, it's a woody area, and I'm telling you, they they got one subway and maybe a gas station, and that's it. You know, right? So, you see, you see, Octavia yeah. said she remembered this. Oh, you know, okay, great, remember great. You see, hey. you see, she right. said she remembered the photo, and they on are. The, the photos are horrible. So. Yeah, I didn't want to nope. show them, so that's why didn't, I didn't show You didn't want to show that. You know, if yeah, you want right. to see for yourself, you can go in the um, same way you can Google it, and you can check it out or watch the documentary. Um, You know, um, yeah, we said that we're going to just bring the story to the front, and, you know, if y'all want to see any type of pictures, y'all can go see. Why would you want to see the pictures, and, you know, much as we, you know, we already explained to you guys and mm -hmm. whatnot what happened, you know, um, I wouldn't want to see that. Yeah, yeah it's 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 graphic. It's really graphic. Yeah, it really is. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. It really you know, is. It's amazing. It's amazing. Yeah. It All is. Right. So, um, if y'all want to continue, I want some. I want to show the people some. You know, the press the uh, press play. If y'all okay, want, okay, you can. It's up to I think we. I think we summed it up, guys. What do you think? We, we right. basically think wrapped so. it up. The yeah. only thing that we that we that because we said that Nang is the only one that survived and living, and he still remains on death row waiting to be executed. Yeah, absolutely. Yep, San Quentin Prison. Yeah. Okay, let me remove this and come back. All right, so let me get rid of this. All right. Okay, I can see everybody. Did, did, did um anybody drop their link? Trinket Sharon, Cody Man. Um, who else we got in here? Um, everybody pen. put your pen, you know. Um, everybody drop your links in here so um people can come um check y'all out. All right, because everybody in here is doing a great job. All right, so um let me see. Okay. You know, this is your this is your time. You know, if you want people to come check you out, um, drop your links inside here. Um, okay, me... Octavia. The name of the documentary is the Boneyard uh, Serial Killers, um, Leonard Lake and Charles. So you, right. can, you can just yeah. Right. There's a movie there out there too. It's not called the Boneyard Serial Killers, but they made a movie about. Uh, this incident. So if yeah. you 
if you Google Boneyard serial killers, you'll find a movie also that they uh, made. But, you know, the names were changed to protect, uh, you know, the right. guilty and protect the them. innocent. So and, and the absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Right. Yeah. So I thought it was it was really, really great, guys. Um, yeah. Yeah. Something that was very interesting. Yeah. Well, um, I want to. That, yeah, that wanna... trade live not too far from where all this happened. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> now when I was picking it, Dre. And like I said, I actually, I actually learned something. I know next time I'm telling you, I won't stop in Ukiah. That's for it sure. Can be dropped, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I want everybody to drop their links. Yeah, can be dropped. I want to share another friend of mine's channel. Um, let me click on it. Uh, is I'm sharing it. Do y'all see it? Yes, I, we see mm -hmm. it. Okay. This is another friend of mine. You know, I went and um, I was on her channel um, the other day, and I really like what she was doing on her channel. So I hope, you know, I, w I want everybody to go over to her channel and show her some support, you know. And when y'all go there, you know, if y'all leave a comment, let them know Brooklyn um, sent y'all. You know, uh, I'm trying to support everybody that's out there um, doing their thing, you know, and this is this one here is a great show here. You click on this one here is it's, I think it's family time. Y'all going to love this one. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Y'all going to love this channel. You know, I want everybody to go over there and show us some love, you know, and like I said, if you leave a comment, let her know um, that Brooklyn um, sent you. All right. So, you know, I really, I really appreciate that. Let me get rid of, uh, hold on. Let me close this out and let me bring this over. Okay. Come back to StreamYard. Okay. Y'all see her channel? Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. it's, it's real nice. She got, she got a lot of stuff on her channel. Y'all can check it out. You know, like I said, show her some support. You know, okay. um, y'all gonna like it. You know, I'm not gonna give it away. Go over to our channel, and um, when you check it out, you know, yeah, join the Telegram, everyone. support yeah. everyone. Looks know. like a food Absolutely. channel. Looks real. Yeah, no, but good. Yeah, she she does. She um, does everything. Yeah, she got the fried zucchini. Yeah. I love fried yeah. zucchini. She does everything. Yeah, she does everything. You know, mm -hmm. um, I want everybody to go over there and support her. All right. Oh, listen, look what Sharon wrote. Um, hold on. Let me come right? back. I played the Family Feud with you yesterday. Yeah, she did. Yeah, yeah, she sure yeah. did. She sure uh, did. Um, hold on. Let me see. I didn't. Uh, let me go down. Yeah, yeah. she did. She, she played did. the Family Feud with me over there. You know, but um, I had a great time over there. I like the channel, so I'm pretty sure you guys are like it. You know, Sharon's over there, and, and you know, a few other people. You know, like I said, go over there and check it out for yourself. It's an excellent channel. Right. Yeah. And, her, and she does it, I think, Saturdays. Yeah, on Saturdays, the family um, for you, you know. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. One day, I, you know, one day I'll have her on the channel and um, hopefully she can explain to you all she does on, yeah. on her channel, you know. But when I went over there, I had a great time with Sharon and us. I mean, a fantastic time. So I want to show her some love. So right. what is the name of the channel? Stephanie 50 and Climate? Yeah. Is that yeah. it? Yes, that's okay. the name of the channel. Stephanie 50 and Climate. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. Everybody go over there, man. You know, leave a comment. And let her know, you know, that, oh, uh, hey, Brooklyn sent me. You know, I appreciate that because yes. I like, try to support everyone. And everyone Absolutely. that's everyone that's in the chat right here, you know, um, drop your links. You know, I see can be... Uh, Drop to a link here, you know. Sharon, Sharon. Sharon. yep. Let me see. MS7, um, yep. Yeah. yep. Drop your links in here so when people uh check out the video, they can come and check you out. Everyone is welcome to promote. On okay, this I want to say this. Um, in, in New York City, Brooklyn, where we're from, um, we have a motto, and the motto says, Spread love, it's the Brooklyn yes. way. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> and, and that's, that's, and that's what it is. That's the model. Right? Yep, that's, that's good. The model. That's why we was out there today, you know, riding for George Floyd, um, because that's what we do. You know, we try mm -hmm. to, um, you know, support everyone and whatnot. So we had thousands of people showed up today.
I did a little uh, video to show you guys. I just wanted to show y'all what we do in our community. And I'm talking about police and everybody was riding for this. Not everyone. I want to explain something to y'all. Not everyone is bad. So I don't want, you know, y'all to get the wrong impression that everyone is bad. I'm just going to leave it like on like that. You know, everyone is not bad. People make mistakes, you know, and, um, you know, people, you have to pay, you know, you have to pay for your mistakes, you know, um, but you have to learn from your mistakes, you know, you Wait. know, I hope, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, Sugar Shaman said you won on the three little picks at Brooklyn. <laughs> when you yeah. said that, uh, answer, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 I did one on the Yes, yes, Sharon. Yes. Yeah, I had a, I had a fantastic time over there. But, you know, everybody got to everybody got support each other. Yeah, go ahead. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. That's what it's about. And now, um, like press I said, play. when you yeah, when y'all go on press play, when y'all go over to your channel, please just let it know that Brooklyn um sent you over there. All right. So um yeah, let me close this, get this out the way. Right. Okay. So now I'm going to share again. I'm I'm just want to show y'all press play, you know, and how press play is coming along. Um, this thing be acting up on stream, y'all. They don't be letting me in. Give me a minute. They don't be letting me in when I'm on stream, y'all. I tried to leave it open. So you see what I mean? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Give me a minute. It won't be when I'm on stream, y'all. It won't let me in. It's, yeah, it's probably a big delay or something. Right, yeah, that's it, what it looks it like. It won't let me in. Um, let me try it again. Hopefully it'll go in. Give it a minute. It looks like he's taking me in. Yeah. Yes, it looks like it's going in. Yeah. Give me a minute. I want to show y'all press play. show y'all how it's coming along. I told y'all um, what's up? Somebody's doing it. That must be True Diva. <laughs> <laughs> true, true, true Diva still on it and she's on the show. Okay. <laughs> she's jamming while she's on the show. She's jamming, I'm multi man. I'm multitask. Yeah. Thank multi you. Okay. Mm. There you go. That's right. Yeah. True. But I just want to show everyone how press play is coming along. It's real nice. There's 140 um, mixtapes on it. You know, we're on stream last uh, on stream y'all, so it's a little delay. Um, y'all see it? Can y'all see it? Yes. Yes. All right. mm -hmm. This this is press play, and um, I, we have all types of music on here. You know, mixtapes, and it's coming along pretty good. I'm gonna scroll down and show y'all. We got 140 mixtapes on here, all type of genres. Mm -hmm. You know, um. Hip hop, R and B, reggae, soca, calypso, oldies, house. you know, house, right. oldies, right. goodies, gospel. yeah, gospel, you know. And like I said, I have over ten thousand, fifteen thousand mixtapes. I'm not putting them all on there. I'm at least try to get to uh, five hundred. I think five hundred mixtapes on here is a lot. It's right, it's a lot. That's, that's quite a bit. Yeah, because everyone's telling me now that this is a lot, right? You know, um, a lot of content, you know, of music that's right. on. But I told you, I, I told you guys that I would show it to you. You know, um, if you're interested in it, you know, join my Telegram group. The link is in the description of the video, mm -hmm. right? I'm not going to show it no more. You know, I said it before I wasn't going to show it again, but I just want to show you I got more content. I think I only had like 50 on it before, mm -hmm. but um, now it has 140 mixtapes on press play. Right. You know, and it's all type of music for everyone. You right. will enjoy it. If you like something, yes, you, will. You, can, you can click on it. Right. Mm -hmm. And you can add it to your favorites. That's mm -hmm. right? my favorite right, right there. Add right. to your add to your you know playlist to your to your playlist and these right there, right there. Go, they will go <laughs> what you come out. This one here, so mm -hmm. seven that one right there. Yeah, 
So so classic seventy. Like the classic. Lot of them. That's the classic. Right. Yeah, this one here. This one here. Yeah, that's the classic. Yeah, there's a whole lot of them in here. The party mix. This one here. Yeah. This one here. Mm -hmm. You know, this one here. Yeah. Right. You got a whole high, lot of them. Where the Cooley High? Where, oh, where yeah. the Cooley High? Let me Cooley see. High, the Mr. CDs. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mr. CDs. And, and this that. one too over here too. Right. Yeah. But it's a lot of music on here, man. It's gonna take you back, y'all. It's gonna take you back. You this is what? this is like no other, man. <clears throat> right. You know what, Brooklyn? I just wanted to thank you for uh, bringing this music to the community. You know, a lot of people yeah, love exactly. music, and uh, exactly. and you know, a lot of people don't have um, uh, access to all this content. So it's really a good thing uh, you're doing here, uh, bringing this to the community. And uh, you know, sharing this with uh, people. Thank you, thank you. It's you know, fantastic, guys. It thank is you. fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. I ain't gonna lie. When you get on it, bro, trust me. When you get on it, and it ain't coming off. Right. And as he as he tell me, as he tell, I'm always on it. <laughs> she always look right here, y'all. Look, <laughs> she on it right now. She can't wait for the show over. <laughs> yeah. Word. <laughs> yeah, but it, but it's real nice. I just wanted to show you, you know, if you're interested, join the Telegram group. The link is in the description. And um, yeah, you know, this is the this is for family and friends, you know. Um, yeah, but it's nice. I told y'all I was gonna show it to y'all. The next time y'all see it, it might be up to three hundred, mm -hmm. you know. Um, but it's real nice. All right. So um, I hear some. I hear the doorbell. So give me a second. Okay. Yeah, I hear the doorbell, so give me a minute. Oh, hold on. Let me come back to StreamYard. Um, I heard the, the dupe. Um, somebody somebody left that was trying to get in? Did I heard the doorbell? Mm, maybe maybe true. I'm not sure. Um, she fell off or something? I, no? I, I think she did. Oh, okay. So she'll come back. Right, yeah, so we, we, I guess we can recap. Um what we did um, earlier, which was the Boneyard Serial Killers, which is Leonard Lake and Charles Meek. Um, very good, guys. Very good. I tell you, take a look at it. Um, they do have a documentary, and as uh, Andre said, they do have a movie. It's just different names, but it's fantastic. Take a look at it, guys. Right. Yeah. Yeah, it's real nice. Um, did everybody drop their information in there? If y'all did, put a one um, in the chat. If y'all put your information in here, because I wouldn't want to go off without y'all um, doing that. You know, we creeping up on the hour. We only like to try to be an hour. You know, um, I see Tim here now. Welcome, Tim. Tim yeah. said, are you going to yeah. hook him up on there? Yeah. Say it again. <laughs> Tim said, are you going to hook him up? Yeah, you gotta you gotta come join the Telegram group. I mean, you told me to come join the Telegram group, but we talk about it. All right, so can be put a one. All right, any other person? I see Eddie here. Anybody else? Okay. All right, I'm gonna give y'all a few minutes to make sure um, everybody. Um, got their um shine today you know i want everybody to have it shine i don't see um air I'd 10 like fix say, radio i'd like to say something brooklyn Go ahead. Bro yeah i'd like to say sharon is a great mod she does yes. her work yes, when she is. comes yes she she's is. fantastic i give that to you sharon oh great yeah mod. she she's yeah. Salute to you sharon she she definitely works it yeah, salute, Sharon. Salute. Yeah. Yes. Let me see, Cody man. Did Please Cody join her channel. Yeah, did Cody man put his information in here? Okay, someone. Uh, oh, okay. The guy wanted to know what we were talking about. Wow. Um, we were talking about uh serial killers. The name of it is the Boneyard Serial Killers, Leonard Lake and Charles Neek. Um, there's a documentary. Um, if you want to take a look at it, you can take a look at the documentary. Just bring up that name; it'll come up. And they also have a movie. Yeah. And I think it's yeah. also a book, if I'm not mistaken, Dre. 
Yeah, there is. There's I quite a bit. Of, there's there's it, quite it, a bit of material out there on this one. This was a. This yeah. was very popular. Uh, this was a very you know popular case here. They made movies and they put books out. And uh, like I say, they got uh, several documentaries out there on this uh, serial killer case here because this was a popular one. Um, yes, that happened. Yo, Sharon, could you do me a favor and put Cody Mann's um, telegram in here? I think Tim oh, did it. Oh, Tim, see, did Tim did it. it. Thank yeah, you, Tim did Tim. it. Thank you, Tim. Yeah, I, I want to support everyone here. Um, um, Airpix10 said what? So she's in and out. So. Oh, she so she's in and out. Okay. Um. Yeah. Can can she drop her um information can, here? I can put a channel. Oh, I can drop yeah, her information okay. in. Here. Yeah, drop her information in here, and then we're gonna wrap this up. All right. And who else is in here? Um. That um. Didn't drop. I'm just going through the list here. Um, a fan of stream is in the description of the video. You know, Iconics, you know, shout out to my Iconics uh, family. You know, um, the link is for them is in the description. You need an icon and stuff like that. Come over to Iconics and um, we will hook you up. All right. And shout out to Terra, you know, shout out to him. Right. Um, yeah, shout out to Terra. Yeah, yep. shout out to Terry. Yep. Shout out, shout out to Rojas, next level. You know, shout out to all of them. Yeah. Shout out to everybody in the community and thank yep. you for your support. And, yep. and we really do mean that. So yes, uh yeah. there's a lot of people out there <clears throat> that I'm getting to know in the community. And uh I like to see uh people come together. I like what I see right now. So, yeah, uh, so do I. I, want, I want to say uh shout Thank out to everybody me. in the yep. chat and, and in the community. Yep. Yep. And definitely shrinking Sharon. You know, she yep. been, she really be um looking out for us. You know, right. she looks out for not just us, she looks out for everyone. Right. Absolutely. Everyone. Yeah. Absolutely. Right. You know, and I want to make sure that we pay homage to her you know everyone you know there's, yeah. there's our 10 picks uh youtube channel i just okay. put it in the chat put it in there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. all right join that channel yep yep um, next, next level, level. yeah we, we got you we, yeah we got you next level no worry even if you ain't here we got you <laughs> you know, I want to, you know, cause yo, they, they doing a fantastic job, you know, next level and our man, you know, um, yeah, he, to him he, real high. Yeah, he was shocked that I listened to him, you know, that, you know, <laughs> that I watch him, you know, yes, I watch everyone. You, you, you know? go to everybody's channel. Absolutely. Yes, absolutely. We I watch, I watch, <laughs> I watch we everyone. Learn from everybody. Yes. Yes. Yep. I watched everybody's channel. I learned from everyone. I'm not ashamed to say that. Why is I'm ashamed, ashamed to say I learned and, and who I learned from? I learned from everyone. Knowledge is power. Uh, mm. Absolutely. Well yep, said. True. Well said. I'm going where the knowledge at. Yeah. <laughs> that's true. That's well true. Said. And next level in them, Shrika Sharon in them, you know, uh, all of them, man, they doing excellent jobs. I got, I have to be there. You know, yeah. Air Pick 10. Yep. Giorgio, Giorgio's here. You know, Giorgio start his channel out. Hey, um, yeah, somebody can please go get Giorgio's um, channel and drop it in here too. I support everyone here. Right. Everyone. No matter what you're doing. You know, no matter what you're doing. If you're doing something for the community, we're going to support you here. You know, right. that's that's the way we want it. When you come yeah. here, you don't have to worry about being promoted or whatever, because, you know, long as you're doing st positive stuff in the community, we got your back. Yeah, we got your back. We do. We are the voice. Absolutely. Of the <laughs> OK, this is Iconics. She said Iconics, right? Yeah. 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 Iconics. yeah. yeah. Yeah, iconic. Yeah, the links for iconic is in the um, tell you know in the description of the video. But thanks, Sharon. Yeah, she always, you know, doing her thing, and 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 Tim also. 
You know, Tim, you know, he gave me great yeah, advice. Tim. Great advice. He's another one. He's another one. You know, go to his channel. Everyone has a YouTube channel. Go to Tim's channel, right, and, and show him some love. I don't care if you just tell him, thank you, Tim, for all you do. Do that. Absolutely. Absolutely. Do that. Show him that we appreciate everything he does, you know, because he does great things for the community. Right. You know? When I was going through bad times, he, he was there for me. He was there. And I'm going to say it on live. Thanks, Tim. Appreciate it. I'm on the right track right now. And thanks to you, you know, you mentored me. And I appreciate that. <clears throat> right? So I guess, um, Giorgio, can somebody get Giorgio's channel? Uh, yeah. Let me see. see Tim, this is for you, Tim. That's for you. All right. Yes. You deserve that. Yep. You 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 always been in the community doing the right things, man. Thanks. Appreciate what you do. Okay. I see True mm -hmm. said something. Oh. Anytime, bro. Yes. Thanks, Tim. Thanks. All right, so um, I guess that's it. I get you know I get I gave everybody enough time to um put their information out there and whatnot. Um, Giorgio, did Giorgio ever get his um channel in here? I don't see Giorgio's channel. You know, what I'm <laughs> Giorgio, if you can put your uh, link to your channel in the chat, you know, be greatly appreciated. Hey, mate, mate. Even if me. even if he types it, right? You know, um, Matrix here. Right. What's up, Matrix? Hey, Matrix. Pre appreciate you coming, Hi, Matrix. bro. No, sorry. Hi, Matrix. Don't get, no, Matrix. No reason to be sorry, bro. Uh, you know, I already plugged the channel in. The link is in the description. You know, I'm an iconic, you know, and um, I promote iconic all day. They don't have to be here. They here. I'm an iconic. So when, once I'm here, they're here. The link Absolutely. for iconics is in the link for iconics is in the description of the video. <laughs> Click the link, you know, and, and, and come check us out. All right. Giorgio, um, Shrika Sharon said something about Giorgio. Um, she says, post your YouTube Post your YouTube. Absolutely. <clears throat> I, want, I want everyone in here to promote. But I don't care what you're doing, you know. Wow. Okay. He said he's working on it. Giorgio's working on it. So. Oh, he's working on what? His channel? Wow. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, I see Linda here. What's up, Linda? Mm -hmm. Yeah, happy yep. to see you, Linda. Long time, Linda. Long yeah. time. You know, stop by and and, and check the family out. All right, and ladies, and also Lady CP. She's also yeah, Lady CP in the chat. Yep, where you see Lady PCP? Where? Oh yeah, she, she's in. She, she's in the she's far, farther up in the chat. She's uh, further? Up? Yeah, I I'm, said hello to her. I slipped. She, what? She slipped past me. She slipped yeah. past. She slipped past me too. I had to ain't go. Through nobody, the chat ain't to see. nobody say that. I don't see her. Now she was in there because she did say she hello. In there? Well, hello, Lady CP. All right, she's a part of the family. Also, you know, um, she does. She done great things for the family, and we want to say thank you to her too. All right. Okay, she's saying thanks to everyone. All right, well, we got one more minute before I end it. All right, so I guess um, Giorgio uh, couldn't uh, get the link or whatever, right? He could always put it in the comments. Yeah, right. Yeah, he, yeah, he can. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Matrix. We appreciate it. And um, I, I got I some. The matrix. Yeah, we, I got some stuff that's coming up. I got you know, um, Matrix and you know, and Terra and I'm helping me out. I'll show y'all later um what we got um in store for you for later. So I guess um, Rig um Sharon said something here. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Sharon. Thank you. Yeah, Iconics is my family also. All right. So on that note, we're going to wrap it up.
All right. So I'm going to let everybody say their goodbyes. And first to my left is Dre. I want to say thank uh, everyone in the chat uh, that came out to uh, support us and watch the show today. And uh, hopefully everyone uh, have a great night and uh, we'll see you next time. Absolutely. The next up is my lovely wife, Jazzy. Thank you, Brooklyn. Thank you guys for coming out and supporting us. And um, we hope you guys enjoyed the show. And thank you, Matrix. We uh, we appreciate you. Yes. And yes. also Shrink and Sharon. Yes. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Okay. And next up is True Diva. I'd like to thank everyone that came out and showed us love and support. Much love to you, Matrix. And you also, Sharon. For coming in here diligently, putting links and everything for us, and we appreciate that again. Yeah, and everybody absolutely. have a great Sunday. Yep, absolutely. Right, I'm gonna give my thanks. Right, I want to thank Shrink and Sharon. I want to thank Tim Windsor. You know, I want to thank Matrix, Terra, right, and everyone. Everyone in the chat is a lot of you. Y'all know that I appreciate everyone. You know, it takes too long to go through all the names, you know, to shout out the names. But um, we appreciate every single one of y'all. And we want to thank y'all for supporting us. And, you know, we hope that y'all continue to support us. And we got a lot of great stuff to come. All right. So yes, we do. On, on that note, and for those who don't know me, my name is Brooklyn Core Cutters. Like, share, and subscribe. You know, click click those notification bells. You know, um, so you can be notified when I'm uploading um new material. And please, everyone, go to the video that I um put up earlier. You know, to show your respects for George Floyd. Please, that's a way that you can show your respects by going to the video liking the video sharing the video let's get the video out there so everybody can put their signature on the video so we know that you know um you're showing your support for george you know and yes, let's and, show our love from the youtube community yes yes the youtube community that's what i want y'all to do show your love to george and his family and everyone let's go there Put your Jen, John Hancock on that video. You know, do that for me. And I appreciate it. All right. So, like I said, until the next video, right? Brooklyn and the family out. Stay safe out there, everyone. All right. Until the next time. Brooklyn and the family out. Peace. Good night.